Hey, this is Dutch Savage from Savage Henry Magazine. I'm down here at the Eureka Courthouse in Eureka, California, where Earth First is holding a rally, and we're gonna see what's going on and who we can talk to. I'm here with fucking Tony. And uh, I'm here with, um, me? Him, yeah, what's your name? I'm, I'm Dutch Savage from Savage Henry Magazine. Savage Henry Magazine, yeah. No one will fucking talk to us tonight, but Tony was kind enough tonight. It's like noon. But uh, Tony was nice enough to walk by and uh, talk to us. Tony, first of all, I'd like to say that it appears that you and I uh, shop at the same hat store. Um, it's true, yes, I can verify that. Yeah, we, we both do. We shop at the same hat store. Earth first, uh, what second? Uh, Mars, I guess. Yeah, you're probably. The fans go online as, as they get further out, you know, they're less attractive. Uh, do you ever go to Tony's too over at the uh, that restaurant over there? Um, I've been there before, yeah. Yeah. It's um, everyone thinks I, I'm a I, I own Tony's Pizzas, you know. I get uh -huh. that joke a lot. And everything. You do. Yeah. But you don't. Um, um, what do I say? I don't know. Yeah, I own it. Where's my money? I want everything <laughs> that's coming to me, man. <laughs> bitch better have my money. You know what I mean? Son of a bitch, better have my damn money. Yeah. Where's my money at? You gonna steal my brand name? Where's my money at? Yeah. Where's his money at? Oh, what do you think about the uh, this Earth First rally? I mean, it's a rally. I don't see any cheerleaders. Yeah, not enough girls, huh? I don't. I not just, enough girls. I'm just confused. Nice not enough girls in there. <laughs> I'm just confused. Nobody will talk to us. I'm glad you came oh, by. Yeah. Are you here for for are the you rally? Controversial or something? Like, uh, huh? are you guys controversial or something? Shit, I don't know. We'll find out. I don't, yeah, I, I guess so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what was your question again? Why do you think all these people, uh, they have these signs over here that says, we want mm Kai. What do you think that means? Um, it's probably um, probably just that fracking and stuff like that. Or maybe just fracking? Deforestation. Yeah. Stuff, you know? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I know about fracking, yeah, it gets a lot of gas. There's a pollution into that. Yeah. It's a serious matter, you know. Uh, I don't think we have much, many of our real redwood trees left. Uh-huh. Uh, well, look at that pathetic tree over there. It looks like a fucking stick of asparagus. All right, we're going to save it. We're going to start a little. We're going to chain ourselves to that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. All right, thanks a lot, Tony. I appreciate your time. It was nice to meet you. Yep. Uh, Anything much else? respect. Most All right. respect. Cool, man. So I wish I had something like that. Yeah? Here. That's, uh... Savage Henry right here, man. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Tony, you're, you're the man. man. You take it easy, bro. How you feel, man? Can we turn down the overhead lights a little bit? <laughs> Just kidding. So I'm here with Rob from uh, Epic. Could you tell me a little bit about Epic? Sure. Well, Epic is a local nonprofit environmental advocacy organization. We've been around since 1977. We do um, protection and Rest, we advocate for the protection and restoration of uh, old growth forest, endangered species, and watersheds in Northern California. Uh, what do you think about the state of the sorry ass asparagus tree that's hanging out over here by the courthouse? I think it needs some help, either that or it should just come down. Unfortunately, it's yeah. one of those things that it doesn't look terribly appetizing anymore, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't need it to build up any of my male juices or anything. How do you feel about this rally today? Do you think it's going all right? Well, you know, rallies are some of those things that are they're hard sometimes to organize impromptu as this one is. And sometimes you get so many participants that you don't have as many audiences as you do participants. That seems to be the case today, yeah. <laughs> which is unfortunate, but it's sometimes how it goes. Yeah. There's a lot of people driving by, though. I mean, that's a quick audience like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely um, a quick fire sort of attempt on people's part to gain attention and to sort of bring bring light onto this issue, you know. So Rob, uh, what can you tell me exactly about the McKay track or the MK track, MK? That's, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah, MK. Okay. Well, um, you know, the McKay track is a very productive piece of forest land here in Humboldt County outside of Eureka that Green Diamond Resource Company has been exploiting since the beginning of their ownership. There used to be Simpson Timber Company here, and their management mode is basically clear-cut everything. And um, what we'd like to see is a more sustainable model in terms of economics, social, and environmental approach, more like what Arcata does in their community forest. And that's why we're so 
excited about the prospect of the, the McKay track becoming a community forest. Green Diamond has never really been that impressive to me. I think that their salted nuts really suck. Well, that's another thing <laughs> entirely. I'm not going to touch that one. But. Okay, Rob, maybe you should give our viewer a uh, little bit of insight on how to get a hold of you and Epic. Sure. Well, we are located on 145 G Street, Arcata, California. Our website, for those who aren't in the area, is www.wildcalifornia.org. And our phone number is 707-822-7711. We encourage people to be in touch. We encourage people to become members. We are a membership-driven organization. Without the contributions of folks who watch this kind of program, we would never survive. Okay, thank you very much, Rob. I really appreciate your time. This lady is going to almost run me over. I totally support all of the McKay track, even when he's with Fagazi. Hey, check it out. Who are we speaking with? Hey, Dr. Rex Bone, first district supervisor. All right, Rex Bone. Uh, so, Rex, what can you tell me about what's going on here today? I, I'm not sure what's going on here. This afternoon, we're going to be meeting on the McKay track, um, which is a project that's been in the works for about close to 15, 17 years, ever since LP sold the land to a Simpson, i.e. Green Diamond, and then um, they're talking about making a community forest out there on about between 11 and 1,400 acres, depending on what we can get funding for. And what we're going to try to do is make sure that it's sustainable and we can do it without taking a hit on the general, you know, on, on the budget itself. Okay. And I'm I mean, with the Trust for Public Lands and County Personnel, I think we're getting there. This is part of the process day. We have a couple more public meetings we're going to have. Uh, public input's been really great, so it's it's, it's been good. It's, it's good to hear from everybody. I mean, even, I don't know who these guys are, but I mean, even who these guys are. Yeah, I don't know who they are either. They won't talk to us. Uh, they're talking about... That stupid hat, but I, I, I've got a hat just like it, so you're okay with me. <laughs> I guess... I, I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll take back. <laughs> well, I guess I better take back your Christmas present. <laughs> Is, was it a hat? Well, it was this one. <laughs> uh, they're, they're talking a lot about climate crisis. Is that when you see a tree and you can't climb it? <laughs> yeah. Or when it's laying down and then it becomes a bridge instead of a climate. But no, I um I, I know global warming has gone to climate change, and I mean, and this is it, that is an aspect to look at. I mean, it's it's there's enough people saying that that there is something to look at in this. But more more importantly, with the McKay track, it's because it's the urban interface with the Eureka proper. And we have an opportunity to um, save it for for bicyclists, uh, walking trails, um, equestrian, horse riders, um, equestrian, that's horse riders. Um, so that's, that still allows some people to use it into the future. It's not just now, it's, it's into the future. So our grandkids and, 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 and families can use it in the future. What we have to do now is to make sure we can sustainably afford it right now. And that's, and that's what we hope to do. The hat's growing on me too, by the way. Just so you know, yeah, yeah. Like a tree? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you have a hat crisis. You're talking to me about climate crisis. <laughs> All right, sounds good. I have one more question. Uh, how come everybody's not dropping what they do to save this pathetic-looking asparagus tree back here? It's it, it's getting there. They actually had a they actually had a uh, a support board underneath it when it got way over. And now it's kind of it's it's actually. It's, it's facing west. I don't know. It might be a religious thing. I'm not sure, but it's facing west. So. <laughs> it kind of it kind of reminds me of the leading tower of pizza shit. <laughs> well, what we're hoping to do is get lights on it, but we we're afraid they'd fall over when we put the lights on it. So it's it's a tough call right now. So thanks, thanks a lot, Rex Bone. Appreciate it. I can really go for a Pepsi. I'm sorry, poor asparagus tree. Yeah, so it looks like it's about... An hour Pathetic and a half piece away of shit. Right Make sure to log on to www.savagehenrymagazine.com and check us out on YouTube. If you'd like us to come to your town and do a Dutch Does episode, feel free to email us at editor at savagehenrymagazine.com. I never thought I'd be here again. He's a